Today you can see our topic is uh, PHP 7 and PHP 8. We all know about uh, PHP 8. Okay, we all know about PHP since we are working in a Magenta company. We should all know about PHP. So, how many of you know about the full form of PHP here? So, anyone can say what is the full form of PHP? Yeah? Right. So, many of you used to say personal home page, that was the whole thing. So, now it is a hypertext people. So, um, that is a PHP. So, usually we need to, we can see uh, older version of PHP was PHP 5, which was very weak. Uh, it was not so fast. So, they bought PHP 7. Then, after a few days, now we got PHP 8, which is better than PHP 7. So, today we are going to see what is the difference between the PHP 7 and PHP 8 and also what are the features we got in the PHP 8. So, let's see. So, so most of you might know what all the new features have come. So, any ideas about PHP 8 features? Anyone? No, we will make a session to be more interactive. So, I want to know what more features we, we have got from the PHP 8. Anyone of you? I hope you are even working in the PHP. Okay. Okay, except Venu. Huh? Enum, okay. Right. Kushma? You haven't worked on PHP. So, this is what uh, we don't know. We, we are working in PHP, but we don't know what are the features in PHP. So, what? AT compile. Apart from that, any functionalities? Compared. See, many of us work in PHP, but still we don't know about what, what are the difference. So, we'll see today what are the difference. So, First thing is PHP 8 is faster than the PHP 7 and we can see better performance also in PHP 8. So the, uh, the code compilation is everything is fast when compared to PHP 7 and also the syntax has been improved much when compared to PHP 7. So we can see when writing code it will be uh, throwing an error. So most of you can be, uh, can be seen who are working on PHP 8, they, they could have seen the errors that may be thrown. So, for example, the constant variables we need to declare with the protected or public. So, those errors you might have seen. So, also the improved type safety that is, will get most, uh, well, typing only will get more things. We, we used to see, initially we used to see only the constructor parameters. Now we can see more options we are getting in the PHP 8. So, that, these are the top improvements. So, we will see. Uh, further with the uh, individual things, what and all got upgraded. The first one is a named argument. You all know about the functions. Uh, so PHP functions, anything we need to uh, write uh, some function also for a add addition, we'll be having a function with the parameters. So usually in PHP seven, we'll be having a, we'll be passing a parameters, and we'll be when whenever calling the function, we used to pass the values. Now, it is independent. We can pass for any variables, any values we can pass. We can see how, how it will happen. <laughs> so, here in this example, you can see the function as a foo. So, where you can see there is a four variable, uh, four parameters. So, string A, string B, string C, string D. And C and D is a null parameter, that optional parameter which we are giving. So, while, while calling the function, you can see the B, B is the B parameter which we are passing the value. Whichever value we can pass to the B, we can pass. And A, we are passing whatever value we can need, we can pass. Similarly, we can pass for D. So, it is irrespective of any, particularly if you see in PHP 7, we can we can need to pass for this A, we need to pass A only. But in PHP, based on the variables, we can pass. So, we can see an example now. Hope everyone can see this or 
So this is a online PHP compiler which I got for both PHP 7 and PHP 8. So we can see how it will work. So here you can see I have written a function called sum where uh, A, B, C is a parameters and the first one is for um, PHP 7 and second one is for the PHP 8. So we will see how it will work. So first one we will execute this. Okay, uh, we can see the sum of 2, 3. So here we can see the variable a plus b minus c. So a will be 2 plus 3, 5 minus 1 will be 4. So output will be 4. And for this one, so b we are giving here is the name documents. So sub a, a is 7 plus b, 2, 9, minus 9 will be 0. So we will see the output. Okay, you can see it. Okay. So here is the two results. This is the result for 8.2.4. So we can see 4 and 0. So we have passed all the values here 2, 3, 1. So this has worked with the 4 and 0. Whereas in the uh, PHP 7, we can see an error occurring <coughs> since we have passed the name arguments. So this is the one of the feature which we got in PHP. So moving forward. So next thing is attributes. So this is nothing but the doc you would have seen a doc file. So usually we used to declare a parameters with some uh, classes. So when we if we click on the class, it will go for the particular class. Similarly, we have got this attribute which have a structured uh, metadata. So that, for example, you can see here, we can use this hash inside this square brackets. If you write any class name, it will go to the particular class name. So for example, I will show in one of the project. So here you can see, I hope you can see the screen. Here you can see I have written it. Toolbar. So this all class is already declared here. Toolbar. So if I click on this, you can get all the details of this. So initially we we were having like this, the return parameters, everything. Now, nowadays we can use in PHP in this way. On clicking this function, it will open that particular class. This is how it will work. You can see the particular class. This is more of uh, easy to uh, easy for us to code. So this is all about the attribute metadata. So third one is constructor. Most of you who have worked in the PHP or Magento would have been seen this. So uh, the, the constructor is quite big. Uh, when in PHP 7, we need to declare a variable and then we need to initialize the inside a constructor. So much of things were there in PHP 7. So now they have reduced in PHP 8. You can see an example here. So consider a class and we have declared a variable called currency and amount. And we are going to, again, we are going to initialize inside the constructor parameter. Again, we are going to initialize using this of currency. Then we are going to use that variable. Now in PHP 8, we can see only declaring inside the constructor is sufficient to get it in any of the function where we can use it. So this is the difference which we got from PHP 7 to PHP 8. So everyone is clear, understanding right. So at last I may, I may ask some questions. Support one is union type. So everyone knows there will be a function and function will be having parameters and parameters will be having a type of a parameter. For example, it will be int or string or it will be null. Most of the things will be there. So usually we can define only one type of a variable. So but in PHP 8, we can do multiple. For example, you can see here, there is a foo and bar. This is nothing but a classes. So where we go to declare the 
attribute. This is a parameter. We, we can declare the parameter with the area of the class. Okay. So we'll be having parameter. Parameter can be declared with the, any of the type. Suppose we need only string and string. We can pass only int and string. Or if any classes, we can pass only the classes. And also written type can be multiple now. So initially in the PHP 7, what was the very book, only single single parameter single parameter we used to pass. Now we can get the multiple uh, return values also. Similarly, you can see one more thing we will see either we can pass who or null, who is nothing but a class, class or a null for the particular parameter. But this even for this shortcut we have like question mark we can have which will define as a null or a bar class. Either of one, it will be a null or a bar class, the parameter will be different. And even we can uh, return as a void. So these are the features which we got from the PHP 8. So next is a match expression. So most of you might have used the switch case. So in order to find any color or matching color, you, you might have used switch cases. So now PHP has bought a new one it's called a match class. So we'll see an example on this. So here you can see a switch class which was existing in the PHP 7 where we will pass a type to be 1 or 2 or 3. So which, if we pass 1 then the output will be here uh, based on this this new class or new 1 thing 2 or 2 the 3. But whereas in the PHP 8 they have transported this to match. If you pass anything it will return this particular classes. So this is the one of the feature which we got from PHP 8 when compared to PHP 7. Hope this is clear, it's a very simple one. And null. So if suppose for example if you want to get a product price, so we'll get a get product and get price. Sometimes the get product will be null. So that time it throws an error. So to overcome that, we'll use if set of uh, get product and then we going to use a get price. For that reason, the PHP heat has bought, you can see here an example in PHP server, dollar booking of get date. Get start date and we want to check whether it is null or uh, it's null or value. Then we are going to uh, call this function. Function we we are going to get either the null value or the value of the function. So here in PHP they controlled this and they bought. You can see the get get start date. The question mark will this will be indicating whether it to be checking this function whether it is null or giving any value. If it's giving a value, then it will return a value for the particular function. Or it will return as a null. So this is one of the one more feature which we got from the PHP. This we seen the six things, uh, six features which we got from the PHP. And apart from that, we got few other functions. So usually, uh, when we need to find the string starting thing, so suppose for example, my name is Vijay. I need to find where is my. So I used to do uh, use circus by using this string for pause function and then uh, then I'm going to find that particular thing where it is in the first position. So that is was quite difficult. Now the PHP it has made very easy with the, with the string start with. So that I can pass a complete entire string with, with the keyword which I need. So it will return either true or false. Similarly, we will we we'll be doing for the string ends with. String ends with we can see initially PHP 7 we were doing the uh, uh, string length, we were taking string length and, uh, and then uh, the practice string length with, with the key which you need, everything we were doing. Now it is very cut shorter right? it's with string ends with with the string and the keyword. So this these are the few features, we, uh, few functions which we got in the PHP key. So moving on to next string contains. So if we want to find any string, suppose same as the string same starts and ends with, we need to find anything uh, inside the my name is Vijay, inside that name I need to find. So we used to use string pause. But now we can we have a function called string contains where we can find the word. This is the entire word and this is a keyword. We can find with this function, we can find where the exact keyword which exists or not. This will also return true or false. Going on to next. So other few functionalities which they bought is ftf. So this we could have seen fmod, mod function. Not many of you people have used, but fmod function is used for uh, mod mod functionality. So 
So here in M team also similar. So in instead this will be two parameters like for example number one divided by number two. So it will give by infinite value also. Instead. Initially it was showing an error, but now it will give by infinite value. And also get debug type. This will return now which class has an error. Exact class of error it will it will return or return the debug class. And also we have got the negative array index. So usually we have a positive from zero to n. Uh, array we can now we can define to negative numbers so for example minus two to one so that means it will be array it will be from minus two minus one zero and one okay so this is one of the feature which we got in the PHP eight other than that the last one is get resource ID so this you all might be using uh, this int of resource so suppose this is this is string we are going to type cast it to the int so now we can do that do that thing here with the get resource ID. So it will automatically set, set the string, it whether the string or what, and based on this, it will take cast it. Okay. So hope you are clear with this additional functionality also. So next we'll see about the two classes they have introduced. One is weak map class and one was value error class. Weak map class is nothing but an uh, array, it's a function of arrays. So where we can see the count of arrays and offset of whether offset exists or not or uh, we get first offset for that reason it is used. Most of the things we can be using is reserved for an array functionality. And apart from this we have one more class called the value error class. This is similar to the exception class which we have in Magento which will return a get message, get code, get file, get line. This view have been seen in the Magento with the exception class. So these are the things which we got from PHP 8. So that's it. Thank you. Any questions? Any questions from anyone? No questions. I can ask some questions. We know. Any questions? Yes. Yeah, named argument. Yeah. 